Welcome back to our final piece of SharePoint in Office 365. So, yeah, I know SharePoint so far has been very boring, but it was just uh, we had to go through because you need to know so you can talk about it, but you don't have to actually worry about uh, doing all the heavy lifting. That will be done by these teams and their admins and the web developers. So, this one is apps. Apps uh has been very common uh ever since the launch of iphone uh if you remember the campaign there is an app for that they will tell you you want to do this there is an app for that so app has taken everything uh all aspect of uh, technology with the storm uh, be it web apps phone apps windows store apps anything so right, they are no longer called softwares. <laughs> they are called now called apps. All right. So this is a we have app catalog. We can purchase. We can manage licenses. So for example, just like Office 365, we manage licenses. There is maybe there is an app that require you per user uh, activation or buying. So you can manage those licenses. Then you can can configure the store settings. So if you are if you have a website that lets uh, that lets users download the apps, be your internal user or external that you are a web uh, app developer. I think that is for that. Like you can configure your own store, monitor apps, track usage of applications, like and their errors, and finally the app permission which tenants have the permission to access or manage those apps let's quickly go one by one and see if it's create a new app catalog site so you can create a just a site give it a name or i can click ok if it's allowing me okay so we can my app store Nope, I'm gonna go with the Eastern Time. Where is where are you, Eastern Time? Administrator again, Ali. We are giving Ali too many responsibility. The storage code. Now let's go with ten sites and app store. I can click OK. App hopefully. nothing anything okay now it's working all right so that our catalog uh, we should actually go to the site collection tab and see if it shows up here or not so test is there uh, I don't see the the one that we just created the next one is purchase So this does not support us. Oh, it's loading. So it's saying, what it's saying is that this website, I think it's talking about the uh, admin center. It's not supporting apps, but you can acquire them and add them to other websites like uh, the end website that we have all of them, these ones. And I see that my app store is being created. So that's why I wanted to show you that. So. Oh, there are a bunch of free ones. I was thinking everything would be. This is a process flow. You have to when you are. Def it's the first uh, step of a uh, teamwork, like when you're uh, analyzing uh, an upgrade or you know a new product. You have to go the through the process and then break down each thing. So there are actually, wow. Time of Manager Plus Adobe Sign. Let's get this one. Add it. Can I add more, more than one? Continue. So this return to site. So let's see. So you see, it taken us to the first site. App Store is being developed. We're gonna go back to apps. 
and we're gonna purchase another app and this time I want to go with this one I really like the logo it reminded me of uh, when I did a little course over there not a course it just uh, attended a few meetings they were fun oh it was saying something I should go and read that so let's uh, yeah, add another app let's get the time off manager everybody likes to take time off right so these are the permission you see that it is by somebody else that's uh, if you can see on the lower left corner that's giving their uh, web address so we add it and I wanted to read this uh, so basically saying that you came from your organization or SharePoint site continue to go and over here it says something so now it's return to the site and manage this app on your site or you can go to SharePoint store so that was it so it's giving me the more apps let's go the employee directory so even uh, even though we have added them uh, they are there uh, like still there but when we click on it we can no longer add it because we already added it so if you see they are by all or free there are two categories and then there are subcategories defining each app and that is a big uh, catalog of apps I believe so clocks and calendars are there so you can add these apps to your uh, store and then your internal users or any user of your website they can use them or you know if you have your uh, publisher you can publish your own and user will be able to uh, download it of course they have to pay for it so it's a SharePoint store for the SharePoint to add to your SharePoint site do not confuse it with this one that we created we're gonna publish ours or we are gonna add our purchase apps so our users or our internal or our public users can buy or use them so let's get back to tenant administration and apps third one is manage licenses so we have office 365 we we got these through time off and adobe so everything is free there's nothing to manage because they are free anybody can use them so if we click on one of the first link it just give like general information and we can add a manager and again we can add Ali to it and he will be the manager for this app so I'm gonna cancel it and go back to the apps configure store settings app purchases you need to create app catalog site we have it I think it's still like there's a latency or it's gonna take some time to be in effect app request so this one is do you want them to purchase it do you want to offer trials or do you want uh, your apps to be totally free and this is your apps that you create in house this one is app request like if users are unable or they don't want it directly from the SharePoint site that you create they can request and do you want that request uh, that the, those users to be able to requ make requests there will be a link something like that so most of the SharePoint is just links it will be a link request an app and you can send an email or fill out a form apps for office from the store so if like those apps that facilitate office what do you want their behavior to be once they are added do you want them to start as soon as the office is started or you want them to be way with them to wait until a user clicks or enter a, a, a an object in that document demands the facilitation from that app itself so this is it I'm gonna cancel out of it here and finally we have monitor apps 
so no apps being monitored so we can add an app and we can monitor its usage and access everything so if we click here we can add it so you can see it will say like a license purchase like if it was our app it will show how many people have purchased it if it was paid but uh, we bought it then it will show how many users of our user internal have uh, activated it install location where they install it on what device and runtime errors were there any errors where the apps were not able to install or run so if i click on here more option we can remove it we can view details that it's there and we can view errors like if there were any errors about this one or not so we can click on it and we can go about the errors no errors found let's go back one more time and finally app permissions so office 365 exchange online it is the unique identifier bunch of code basically identifies it so we can find an app and by its identifier that is it that if we click it it's going to show up we can search for it so apps what was it so this is like what apps are accessing this standard this uh, our organization this is it for the apps real simple easy again we will be just uh, setting it up as the organization demands from us so we will not be doing or defining things this is it for uh, SharePoint uh, we have covered all of these in our earlier videos so check them out next I am very very uh, excited about OneDrive so see uh, storage cloud and all that uh, sorry cloud storage yep storage cloud <laughs> so we're gonna t start talking about that from tomorrow but this is it for today tonight and for SharePoint as well if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and see you in the next uh, video tomorrow